Hi there, Leslie Thornton here. Excited to share a client slash team member testimonial. So this morning, every morning, Hypnosis for Permanent Weight Loss team has a morning call. And Lisa, who is the backbone of Hypnosis for Permanent Weight Loss, she is my organizer. She can do it all here at Hypnosis for Permanent Weight Loss. She started out being a client. Uh, we actually found each other on LinkedIn and she's done all the work. She's done all the hard work, right? And came in a place where her mind was spiraling and spinning and anxious and um, dealing with family stuff and financial stuff and all of that. And she was and is a rock star. She's a mom. She just blows it out of the water. And she was willing to be vulnerable and she was willing to do whatever it took to get herself out of that crazy feelings about food, body, and weight, like all of us are just wanting and wishing and all that kind of stuff that we want to do. So this morning on the call, Lisa had said she hadn't weighed herself since before the program. And here at Hypnosis for Permanent Weight Loss, we really look at having your life fit into this program. So it's not about like diet stuff, telling you what you can do or what you can't do, or that you can weigh yourself or not weigh yourself or clear your pantry or not clear your pantry. It's, we want you to be living your life the way that you normally would so that when you're not in this program, so that when you're out there in real life, so that when you're not on a diet, that you get to have inner peace and freedom all the time. So Lisa had made a choice for herself that she did not want to step on the scale because she knew that when she did, she was too triggered, right? There was a definite long part in my path where I made that same choice to not step on the scale, to stay away from that because I knew that I needed to work on the dark place of my mind before I could worry about going crazy about the scale. It wasn't about that anymore. It was about that dark place in my mind. It was about the fact that that number started having me berate myself, hate myself, all these horrible critical things that would have me start to panic and have me start to try to find another diet or try to smoke cigarettes or something to try to not gain weight. When I was in India, I was like just desperate and just wanting to find anything. And I was like, maybe I can buy a pack of cigarettes and that will stop my cravings. Like I was just at the end of my rope with all of it. And if you're in that space, I hear you. And that's why we're here. And it doesn't have to be that way. But again, you have to take that action to get that support. Otherwise you will be in that hamster wheel forever. And that hamster wheel sucks. No other way to describe it. And you've been in there for way too long. So do yourself a favor and get out of that. So going back, right? She was in that place, not wanting to go to that dark place in her own mind and really wanted to heal this stuff from the ground up, right? Which starts with that mindset of the way that you're engaging and talking with yourself. It's vital. I've been talking about this so much lately. So Lisa, and the same thing with myself, got to a point where she felt like, you know what? I've managed that dark stuff so well at this point that I feel like I could handle that number. Right. And that was the same thing for me one day where it was like, you know what? I don't really care what that number says, but I am curious what it says. And so when Lisa stepped on that scale this morning, she saw that she was 20 pounds less than she was last year. Now, I know what you might be thinking 20 pounds in a year isn't that much. Well, hold the phone because 20 pounds in a year, when you are not counting, you are not dieting, you are not pointing. You are not restricting, you are not paying attention, you're not tracking your food, you're not doing any of that stuff. She still had the sweet creamer in her coffee every morning. She still would indulge with her family. She would still have meals that were just kind of on the go because she has her sons that she's taking care of and she's being super mom all the time. So when we're talking about permanent weight loss, we are talking about just that that over time and when the goal is to just pay attention to the way that we feel and choose foods that make us feel good in our bodies, regardless of what that food is. I don't care if it's a Kit Kat bar. I don't care if it's an apple. I don't care if it's juice. I don't care if it's soda. I don't care if it's creamer. Maybe that's what your body is feeling like you want to have, 
right? Because in reality, you can't take that food out of our society. And if there's a part of you that really would like to have that, then we might as well figure out how to build a relationship with that food so that it's not that toxic relationship where some days and weeks and months you're going at it full throttle and gaining weight and miserable. And some days and weeks and months you're not having it at all and you're losing weight and now you're happy, right? Our goal is that you have consistent peace of mind, consistent energy levels, consistent, consistent, consistent. Doesn't mean that there aren't hard days. Doesn't mean that there aren't emotions, but you're learning how to be with them better on a day-to-day basis. And I want that for you if you want that. Lisa has gone to extraordinary measures to work on her mindset, to work on her emotional mastery, right? To give back and be in service from the transformation she got here at Hypnosis for Permanent Weight Loss. And I'm just so grateful and appreciative that she shared with us this morning that in this past year, she has automatically lost 20 pounds without doing any of that stuff. Recently in our refresher day that we had, I shared some before and after pictures. I was upwards of 170 at five foot two, not that long ago, a couple of years ago, year and a half ago, I'm losing track of time with COVID and to today being 20 to 30 pounds less than that, depending on the day, the month, whatever. And I'm not attached to that, right? Summer's coming, whatever the weight could go up. I don't think that it's going to, but I don't care if it does. Right. And I didn't really care or I wasn't, I made it so that I wasn't attached to whether or not I lost that weight either. My goal was that no matter what weight that I was, that I found a way to be happy, to show up, to be confident, to know that I am worth, I'm worth it, that I'm valuable, that I'm able, that I'm capable, that I'm worthy and deserving of love, that I'm always the same awesome me. The same way that you are always the same awesome you, regardless of how much weight you gain during COVID, regardless of how bad and low your days are. But I'm telling you that unless you start to tackle that voice that's inside your head that is saying, what's wrong with you? Why can't you get this? The same thing that starts out every day saying, today we're going to be perfect. And by 3 p.m., you've blown it somehow, right? Until you tackle that chain and that pattern, you're going to be going through that dark, evil, yucky place that's in your mind. And it's affecting your relationships. Your kids are now taking on that mindset, whether you talk about it or not. I talk to a lot of moms and they say, well, I don't let it out to my kids. Well, guess what? My mom really didn't let it out either, but there are always kids pick up on feelings and ways of being more than they even do around words. So just know that this is a big part of your life. And yes, you may have had success. We were just talking with a woman this morning, great job, great career. And she's walking around all day hiding though. Everyone sees her as successful, but inside she's dealing with those demons all day, every day. And when you're constantly trying to pretend that everything's okay, when it's not internally, that's when you can just lose it, right? And I don't want that to happen to you. We got to end that saga This is about putting your life into this program so that we can find a program, a way of being around food and body and weight that works for you. So congratulations to Lisa. Congratulations to everyone who continues to share their success with us. This is the real answer to working on that foundation so you never have to yo-yo diet again. So I'm looking forward to seeing you if we haven't yet. If you're someone that we've talked to in the past, please get back with us. Tell us how you're doing. We always want to hear about your journey. Congratulations on just watching this video today, but you know what to do. I'm all about action and without action, without getting out of your comfort zone, without you facing your fears, you can't get past this stuff. And it starts by your engaging in this very program. I love you and I'll see you next time.